All right, Biden's campaign is floundering. Democrats are sounding the alarm, according to a breaking report. Former President Barack Obama met privately with Biden on at least two occasions, expressing his concern that Donald Trump's going to win in November. Here with Reaction, Project 21 Chairman Horace Cooper and Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Uh, Tammy, we got, we got that news today, and also the danger. I, I, I watched uh, this minibus or omnibus bill passed. They didn't give members of Congress much time to read it. Uh, and I know Marjorie Taylor Greene is thinking about a motion to vacate. Matt Gates, interestingly, said that could result in a, a speaker, Hakeem Jeffries. That wouldn't be good. What's re your reaction to both stories? Well, I think it's not surprising that Obama, who sees this as a continuation of his legacy, would get nervous when they realize that they've lost the American people. Uh, part of his warning to uh, Biden was that, of course, this is going to be harder than 2020. And the reason it's going to be harder than 2020 is because they can't lie about what Joe Biden's going to do, about who Joe Biden is, about what the agenda is. They went all out in 2016, uh, uh, 2020, I should say, to paint Biden as somebody that he was not. Uh, it was a romantic view of him, but we're going to be back to normal. Trump is a maniac. And what we have now is four years of looking back and realize how much we were lied to, how much there was the basement strategy to, to trick the American people, and the results of policies that were, were, were the dream policies, frankly, of the Democrats. So now they can't lie about those things. His advice was to make it all about Trump. But I'm telling you, Sean, clearly they knew this was going to be the case with the lawfare, the degree to which they are going through the courts to destroy this man financially and, and emotionally, perhaps, and they think they're going to throw him in jail. And I baked all that in into my continuing support. They will do all of that because they know, and this is for us and it's good news, that they can't lie to us anymore, that they can't trick us about who this is and what the future is going to look like, which is a dumpster fire if this continues to happen. But w one last thing about Barack Obama. He knows what's happened to the country, and he wants it to continue. And if he's the one giving advice, ask Hillary Clinton how good the Barack Obama advice is, and if this is a guy who knows everything about how to win, because she's sitting there drinking her Chardonnay, not in the White House. <laughs> okay. I, I'm glad I didn't know she liked Chardonnay. However, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Horace, good to see you again. Uh, let's look demographically, because we're watching Joe Biden, Kamala Harris now trying to shore up the Democratic coalition, the, uh, the disparate uh, groups that usually are part of the Democratic uh, base. Demographically, you're looking at Joe Biden that got 90 plus percent of the African-American vote. He's down to 66 percent. He's down over 20 some odd points with Hispanic Americans, down over 20 points with, with young Americans and suburban women. Um, I think the issues that Tammy just discussed, you know, it's impacting everybody's life from the, from the economy to the border to law and order and safety and security. People are looking at what's going on around the world and they're like, where's America? We've abdicated our role on the world stage. So cumulatively, how do they, how do they get people back that are part of their normal base, uh, especially when these policies are not helping them? Well, let me say that I agree with Tammy that there was a major effort to lie to the American people in 2020. However, that was not unique. That has actually been, since I was a kid, the game plan for the left. We're going to lie. I feel your pain. We're going to say whatever we think we need to say to the American people to get their support. The problem is that the governing by this administration has been nothing short of a dumpster fire. The American people across the board are suffering from this. We are seeing more foreclosures. We have seen more repossessions. We're seeing record numbers of Americans having to use the credit card just to buy basics at the grocery store. The truth of the matter is, what Mr. Obama might want to try to tell uh, Mr. Biden to do 
is, the truth is, should say, I was wrong. And I'm going to start with some really proactive steps, like doing something about closing up the border. The problem is this administration is committed to the very, very far left. They don't have the flexibility. I'm, I'm sitting here watching in primary after primary where hundreds of thousands of their voters are saying anybody but Joe because Joe's not far left crazy enough. This is the problem. It's a dumpster fire. Whisper all you want, Mr. Uh, Mr. Obama. It's just not going to work. It's Jimmy Carter 2.0, maybe even worse if that's possible. Uh, anyway, Tammy, thank you. Great to see you, Horace. Thank you as well. We appreciate it.